Okay, so we'd like to understand plastic deformation in a little bit more detail. And, you know, we, at this point, well, we're, 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 we're experts on elastic deformation, Hooke's Law, um, Young's Modulus. But to understand plastic deformation better, we're going to need to understand the arrangement of atoms in solids. And so what I want to do, and I want to set the stage for that by giving you sort of a, a scale sense, an order of magnitude sense for some of the features of the microstructure of materials. <clears throat> so to start things off, let's have not two atoms, but a car. And as you know, I like to do, there we go, drive them on. And <clears throat> we can say, well, how big is a uh, car? Okay. And as engineers would say, it's of the, I mean, in this context, at least it's it's about a meter long. I mean, okay, a car is really closer to two meters. Is it a bus? It's, you know, five, seven meters or something. It's one meter, it's, it's in the order of magnitude of one meter. It's not tens of meters, it's not hundreds of meters, it's not centimeters. It's in the order of magnitude of a meter, and that's what I'm trying to express here. <clears throat> so then if I do a little call out here, what you find is, and you look in, into the material in a little bit more detail, you'd see some kind of a microstructure, maybe you know, something like this. Okay, and you see these funny little um, um, features on, on the surface, if, if you processed it right. So you, what you're looking at are these, um, they're actually crystals. Okay, so that's actually a crystal. Most metals are made up of many, many, many little crystals. Um, I'm going to show you, uh, if you want, I'll show you a little picture actually of something that you might have seen in your everyday life. And that is a galvanized surface on a material. So this is a, a zinc coating that we put, on, that we put onto uh, steel to uh, help prevent it from corroding. And you might have seen this type of thing. I mean, this is a handlebar on a railing, uh, or a railing um, on, on a stairway, and thousands of people, you know, have, have put their hands on it, and um, their hands have a little bit of sweat, and the sweat etches away the atoms that are at the edges of these crystals. They're a little bit more reactive and then their hand moves along and polishes it. So it's a perfect little sample preparation, really. And you can see these little features. And each one of these is, in fact, a, you know, a crystal. Okay? So similar. And now these are pretty big. These are you know, almost a centimeter scale. Now, the ones that you'd have on the side of a car like this would be uh, smaller. But the size here, maybe actually what I'll do is I'll use the... So use the red color over there. Oops. Um, you know, what, what size is this if, if we've got about one meter there? Well, these things are in the 10 to the minus 6 to 10 to the minus 2, maybe centimeter scale uh, range. Okay? And if you further zoomed in on one of these crystals, what you'd find was that crystal was made up of atoms in very regular, um, in a very, very regular array. It's, it's, that's what a crystal is. So you'd have these atoms all lined up. Now I'm just drawing this as a simple square lattice in two dimensions. And we'll see later that there's three-dimensional structures. But they're organized in three dimensions very nicely. Okay, and this is this regular repeat arrangement is, of course, what um, what makes a crystal. So that's a crystal is looked at in a little bit more detail. <clears throat> but then what we can do as, as we study this as uh, engineers to better understand material is we can zoom in on this, if you will, and come up with a way of describing the crystal without having to draw a whole crystal out like that. And that's what we use a uh, so-called unit cell for. So we take you and often it's actually a little cube that is representative of the entire structure. And so maybe if it's just in this section, not very common for models, 
this simple cubic lattice, but it's illustrative for these purposes. That unit cell is the smallest convenient um, building block that represents the total, the, the overall crystal. So that's what the unit cell is, and the unit cell is, like I said, the smallest convenient. I say convenient because you'll see sometimes it's not strictly the smallest, but it's the smallest convenient building block that represents the total. Okay? Smallest convenient building block. <coughs> and oh, I need to provide here for you the length scale. So we're here at the atomic scale, and that's roughly 10 to the minus 10 meters. Sometimes that's called the angstrom. Okay? So that's roughly the, the scale that we're at. Uh, at that level of structure. Okay, fantastic. So I think that's a good place to stop this video, and we'll get into more detail on microstructure in the next video. Thanks.